Hey guys, welcome back to Bushfield's got the Bronco running, figured out what the problem was. Just trying to kick the cobwebs out of it. What we were running into here was on the uh, Detroit's kit at no fault of their own. They have a signal wire, but they just jumped over here and I jumped it to a good, uh, to the battery positive so my pump stays running. The wiring on this thing's really hokey, so we're just trying to figure out all that. Uh, if this is your first time, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're gonna we pulled the air pump off or the air pump wiring off, so I just want to make sure everything was still good. Um, Notice a couple little issues we got going on. Hey, we got to clean all this up. Just want to show you. Uh, let's see here. Pulled this little baby jack out of the engine compartment. I don't know what this would have lifted up on the side of the road, but would not have been a fun day. So these are part, parts that were in my engine bay. This is part of the air pump, our air electrical pump assembly. It's got some sort of um, baffle in there. This is just a bunch of air relays and where they send this stuff to. Uh, AC doesn't work in it anyways. Uh, just trying to figure out what needs to go where. Pull the air box off. Um, got a couple little things. We're just figuring everything out. Like I said all this wiring needs to get cleaned up before we start plowing with it. I'd like to pull the EGR off before we start plowing. Doesn't really matter, it runs. We got a battery box coming for this, so the battery won't be sitting there. Like I said, I want to pull it, push the battery back in here, and then uh, move this uh, starter solenoid. With my starter, I'm not having a problem. It's more or less when I installed it. Uh, it was an installation error. I stripped out the little screw that the positive cable goes to. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a bolt, uh, a washer, and a lock... Uh, one of those lock washers and then a nut so then it can't come loose when we're off-roading or plowing so that will keep from that issue happening and then we ordered but haven't had a chance to put in yet new starter bolts and there we are so we ordered new uh, starter bolts so they're gonna um, so we're, we're going to know that they're not two different sizes if we ever have to pull it off again because that's a joke trying to deal with that. Working on ordering the painless switch panel so we don't have to run a positive. So we're going to run that switch panel right in here. Uh, cleaned up the dash, cleaned up the interior a little. It's just trying to figure out all the little stuff we're dealing with. It's funny, you can have a hundred things wrong with your vehicle, but you do little things to keep you motivated. We actually used Chemical Guys products and cleaned up the dash. So the dash is all nice right now. Like I said, we're going to put the a switch panel in there. Still has a key for it. Um, the top piece of the dash is on top of the roof. We're just trying to pull some of the old wiring out, uh, some of the old junk. Figuring out this back window back here. So we have that piece pulled down. Uh, trying to get that window back up before winter. Just, you know, joys of owning, owning old vehicles. Eventually, like I said, I gotta get new doors. My doors are trashed and this passenger door doesn't open from the outside. Might be something simple. Just haven't had time to mess with it. Trying to get the thing running. Uh, want to show you a couple cool things that you can do with a power probe real quick while I have you. For you guys that don't know, this is a power probe. It's got the ability to send positive or negative signals. And then you also have a negative lead or a ground lead so you can send power and test like lights and stuff. So in here, we were having headlight issues, and I figured out that was a ground issue, but basically we put a ground to the light, and the light turns on. So ground and positive, ground and power, light turns on. You can do that with a couple different things. Uh, do, 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 let's see here. 
So if you ground this, how do we do this last time? Yeah, there's just a couple different things you can do. Uh, we got the air box pulled off here. Just trying to clean up the wires. I got to get some electric tape, clean up everything going through here, change the oil, probably change out the spark plugs. I uh, can't really see, but the valve cover back in here, they, uh, they're they missing bolts. So that's another reason it looks like it's leaking. It's probably, probably leaking as well, but um, like I said, we're gonna try to get some of this stuff done and get some of this stuff ordered. We were pulling, or I was pulling off the old brake lines that were to the back of this because I only have rear brakes right now. But just proof that people do dumb stuff. This is old rusty brake line and someone tried patching it with a piece of rubber hose. So it's just crazy to me. I said this is more of my beautiful door, my body and my truck. We were messing around with some of the undercoating. Uh, it didn't really work the way I wanted to. I didn't really clean it up all that well. So that's not really a fault of the undercoating. That's more or less a fault of me getting lazy. I'm glad that when we tested the wiring for my fuel pump, it wasn't a uh, it wasn't a computer issue because this is a computer controlled truck. Sometimes if you uh, run an aftermarket fuel pump to non-stock wiring, it, it will cause the truck to not run. So that's good that that wasn't that the case for us. I wanna, like I said, we're gonna go through all this stuff, but how, how they wire in plows, they got, this is actually the plow harness and then it tees off, let's see. it uses, they used to be blue connectors, but they're kind of nasty. They're called vamp, or I call them vampire connectors. They just splice into the line and eventually they cause issue. So we're gonna pull, pull the headlights out, remove the wiring for that, run new uh, headlight wiring. We're just gonna run aftermarket uh, light pods on the top. I mean, you can see I got turn signals on the side of my fender. I got turn signals in the front. All my turn signals do work. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to remember what side. The, I believe the headlights don't work at, at all. But we'll plug the battery back in and see if I'm wrong. So we got four ways headlights. I don't have anything up here right now. Oh, you know why? Because I didn't turn the key back on. So we got the lights on, tail lights, license plate light. Like I said, tail lights do work on it. Turn signals are on, but they're not flashing. And like I said, none of my headlights are on. Actually on my plow, you can kind of tell, but my turn signal lights are on on there. And on here, but they're not flashing. Oh, this one's actually out, so that might be causing it not to flash. Now let's see, this actually ran. So I take that off, turn that off. That should turn off my plow lights. But nope, keeps them on. So like I said, I don't have any headlights on this and I have one very, very, very dim plow light. So we're gonna just get rid of the whole system, try to clean it all up. The main thing with this truck is just simplify everything. Why, why deal with all this headache? And actually, if it's the same style as what I usually use. Oh, that's weird. So if the plow light's on, it works. If the plow light's off, it doesn't. Huh. Another thing to figure out down the road. Like I said, until we get some of the major parts, we're just gonna kinda do 10 minute updates. 
give you an idea of what we're thinking and what we're trying to figure out here. Appreciate you guys uh, viewing this, subscribing, kind of keeping an eye on what we're doing. Got some big plans for this come next summer. Like I said, we're just gonna clean everything up. Like I said, all the wiring we've done, we've put it in a loom, brought it over the motor, cleaned it up all real nice. So we're just really excited that it's running. It's running strong. Doesn't seem like it's gonna give us a problem with running. Um, like I said, figure out the lights. That's little stuff. We'll deal with it. We'll get past it. Thanks again. Like I said, this is Jeremy with Bush Builds. Like, uh, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.